Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In today's video, we will discuss about the Modbus communication in Mitsubishi VLC IQR series. Uh, we are, will be using uh, your R04 CPU and uh, we will use RJ71 C24 card here to communicate with the Modbus slave, st slave stations uh, using simple VLC communication. So let's get started. Let me make a new project. The CPU series is R and the type is R04 EN. So I'm creating a new project here and uh, let's change the setting here. I don't want to read the sample comments. Okay, click OK. I will go to the module information section. As you can see, we don't have any module connected at present. So I will just right click and I will click on add module. So this our R j71 c24 card falls in the category of information modules so i will just dial information module here and i will select rj71 c24 r4 and the mounting slot will be zero okay so i will click ok it is taking some time okay so both is no and I will click this and OK. So let us wait and click OK. So here we are, here we have this RJ71C24-R4 uh, card. So first we will go to the module parameters. Here we will select that we are, will be using the simple PLC communication as our uh, protocol for this C24 card. It is taking some time. So yeah, there we have. So the communication protocol setting. Go click here and just select simple PLC communication here. Okay, and uh, the bottom of this the simple PLC communication is in use. Now go to the module extended parameters again it is taking a lot of time here okay now so we will use the simple PLC communication setting just double click at simple PLC communication setting parameter number one double click here a window will appear Uh, so the first the setting number one communication pattern. So we have two uh, communication pattern one is read and one is write. So we will be using read here. Of course we know the read and write means and uh, communication setting we have two here that is fixed interval and the another is on request. So I am using first the fixed interval here and the value of uh, the uh, gap is 100 millisecond. Okay. So you can increase or decrease this as per your requirement and the source will be channel number one of uh, your c24 card the device type will be let's say it's r2u and the station number is one okay so this is our slave station that is source and the uh, what we will read is uh, so is the holding registers let's suppose uh, the starting of holding register is from uh, 3000 and 3008. Uh, okay. So we will use D0, the starting address as per your requirement, 0 to 8. And we have this setting named communication timeout period that is 5000 millisecond, that is 5 seconds, and the number of retries 3. So let's make them default. We don't need to change this. Again, I will go for another communication setting that is right and the same but station number two okay here also we can use the holding registers we want to read let's suppose 3000 again for the station number two and 3008 so that will be 
d0 suppose 10 and 18 so this is all you need to do when you are communicating with the two slave stations one is one and another is two uh, you are using this two uh, instructions to read only the holding register from 2000 to 2008 for station number one and station number two uh, just click ok and this is done you will get the data in d0 till d9 and from d10 to d19 for station uh, slave number two but in case uh, suppose your slave one is off that means your slave station one is not communicating with the CPU. In that case, you will uh, see that the data delay, communication delay is there. That is because you have used the setting here like 5000 millisecond is for your communication timeout and number of retries is 3. So multiply it with 5003 that comes out to be 15 seconds. So the communication delay you will see if any of uh, the one the station is off then you will see the 15 second delay in the communication so to tackle this type of situation you can do one thing you can just click on request here and on request here and click ok now by using the program you can trigger this both setting numbers like one and two so i will go to the program section just i will write m0 and then I will write a buffer like uh, u0 oblique g that is your buffer address 32640.0 this is your buff sorry OUT. this is buffer to communicate with the uh, you know uh, this is on request for the uh, setting number one and for setting number two style here m1 okay and the address will be dot one here So by doing so you can communicate uh, with the ladder also but if you don't want to use the ladder to communicate and you want regular uh, communication using the fixed interval you can use that also. So by doing so you can communicate easily with your slave stations as uh, per your requirement. Uh, that's all in this video. Uh, if you like my video please like share and subscribe. Thank you.